With excessive pricing already providing a hurdle for potential purchasers, it only makes sense to avoid substandard market entries. Automakers have occasionally offered problematic automobiles, but they are also always satisfied with lackluster autos that fail to justify their exorbitant prices. Let's look at these 10 vehicles and compelling reasons not to buy them. Number 10. 2022 Toyota Mirai The all-new 2022 Toyota Mirai looks fantastic and has excellent performance statistics, a sumptuous cabin, and a zero-carbon footprint. So what's the issue? It's a typical example of technology far too advanced for its time. The 2016 model year Mirai has a potential range of 502 kilometers or 312 miles on a full tank, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. The Mirai's MPG equivalent mixed city highway fuel efficiency rating was 66 miles per gallon U.S., 3.6 liters per 100 kilometers, 79 mpg, making it the best fuel-efficient hydrogen fuel cell car evaluated by the EPA at the time, as well as the one with the most fantastic range. The second-generation Mirai achieved a world record in August 2021, going 1,360 kilometers or 845 miles in a tank of 5.65 kilograms hydrogen. Toyota's goal for a sustainable hydrogen society resulted in outstanding hydrogen fuel cell technology. However, the United States now has just a few hundred publicly available hydrogen recharging stations. And because most of these stations are centered around large California cities, you can only experience the Mirai in a limited region inside one state. Number 9. 2022 Tesla Model Y because they share core foundations, features, and equipment, the Tesla Model Y is an SUV version of the Tesla Model 3. The Tesla Model Y is popular among owners because it is elegant, swift, and spacious, but also concerns body integrity, temperature systems, and in-car electronics. It's also disappointing that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto aren't supported. We'll start with some of the pros. The Model Y is built on the same basis as the Model 3 sedan. It shares an estimated 75% of its components with the Tesla Model 3, including a comparable interior and exterior design and an electric engine. The Model Y competes in a smaller and less costly category than the Tesla Model X. The Model Y, like the Model X, has an optional third row seat for a total seating capacity of seven. The NHTSA has identified several safety problems with the 2022 Tesla Model Y, triggering nine recalls, including unsecured brake caliper bolts, suspension, seat belts, brakes, and other components. There were 374 complaints about the 2022 Tesla Model Y for the 2022 model year concerning brakes, steering, electrical systems, and other issues. Number 8. 2022 Maserati Ghibli Maserati conjures up memories of racing excitement and jet-setting superstars, serving as a sharp warning that not all premium sedans are created equal. Aside from its charisma, Maserati Ghibli needs an appealing package that delivers on its promise of sporting elegance. At the 2013 Shanghai Motor Show, the current third-generation Ghibli, Tipo M157, was presented. The Ghibli is available with three 3.0-liter V6 engines, a twin-turbocharged 330 PS, 243 kilowatt, 325 horsepower, or 410 PS, 302 kilowatt, 404 horsepower petrol, and a 275 PS, 202 kilowatt, 271 horsepower turbo diesel, making it the first Maserati production car powered by a diesel engine. All variants have an 8-speed automatic gearbox, all-wheel drive is offered on the most powerful V6, but not in the right-hand drive regions. With a starting price of $80,000 and a top price of $115,795, the 2022 Maserati Ghibli provides much less than practically all other mid-sized luxury cars on the market. 
The Maserati Ghibli falls short in every category, from poor in-car amenities to disappointing interior space and a weak base grade. Number 7. 2022 Lexus GX The off-road capabilities of the 2022 Lexus GX set it apart from other luxury SUVs, but you'll have to make some sacrifices to appreciate them. To begin, you'd have to settle with a cumbersome old look that's outdated by today's standards. Regarding the Lexus portfolio, the GX sits between the RX crossover and the LX SUV, the Lexus-badged Land Cruiser. The GX was built entirely in Japan, with the Land Cruiser Prado and the export-oriented Toyota 4Runner at the Tahara facility. The Lexus GX competitors provide better comfort and storage, and the SUV's interior amenities do not justify the expected $55,000 price tag. Furthermore, the 2022 Lexus GX is a gas guzzler with a combined fuel efficiency of 16 miles per gallon. Number 6. 2022 Mitsubishi Mirage G4 The Mitsubishi Mirage is a fantastic sedan with a good fuel efficiency of 37 miles per gallon and a reasonable sticker price. The Mirage is true to its name since the illusion disappears when the little car hits the road. The Mirage G4 is powered by a 78-horsepower three-cylinder engine that is both weak and loud. To top it all off, it features poor soundproofing, poor build quality, a cheap-looking interior, and a poor expected dependability rating. Number 5. 2022 Subaru Ascent The Ascent has exceptional all-around performance, fluid power delivery, a smooth ride, and a good cabin that has won over SUV aficionados. The supercharged four-cylinder is more enjoyable and zippy than the stats imply, but it's still at a minor disadvantage in a sector dominated by V6s. Most people regard Subaru as a dependable brand, but their biggest three-row SUV casts some doubts on this. The Ascent has issues with the powertrain, transmission, brakes, in-car electronics, and climate system, which explains the expected reliability rating of 1 out of 5 and a total reliability score of 18 out of 100. Number 4. 2022 Ford EcoSport With just one glance at the little EcoSport SUV, you can almost see why it has become a colossal flop over the years. Okay. It earns some marks for its unexpectedly nimble handling and ability to drive more like a supercar than a dull SUV, but it leaves a lot to be desired. The Ford EcoSport is marketed as a subcompact SUV, yet it lacks almost everything you'd expect from a contemporary crossover. Among them are poor fuel efficiency, an antiquated stock infotainment system, and a flagrant lack of safety features. Ford will discontinue the EcoSport in 2022, and I would rather have the Bronco Sport. Number 3. 2022 Chrysler 300 The 300, Chrysler's premier sedan, is popular because it is as intelligent, competent, and elegant as ever. However, this is also an issue with the huge car. In most ways, the basic specifications sheet suggests an old highway cruiser. The Chrysler 300 has a look that appears to be archaic by contemporary standards, and its conspicuous lack of basic tech features doesn't help matters. The 300's steering and power are inferior to its competitors' full-size sedans and power vehicles, making it appear to be a waste of money. Number 2. 2022 Ford Explorer the Explorer is a well-known vehicle, with most drivers appreciating its large, quiet cabin and agile driving. However, Consumer Report raises multiple warning flags with the 2022 model. The Explorer features a firm ride and issues with a cumbersome transmission, loud engine, power equipment, inside technology, and outside paint. However, there have been some advantages for the Explorer, such as Ford's fourth-generation modular hybrid technology underpins the new hybrid system, which combines up to 90% of its components with the Escape Hybrid and F-150 Hybrid. The hybrid powertrain is expected to save sectors between $3,500 and $5,700 per vehicle in fuel expenditures each year. 
Overall, the hybrid system raised the utility's combined fuel efficiency by 26% from 19 miles per gallon or 12 liters per 100 kilometers, 23 miles per gallon Imperial to 24 miles per gallon or 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers, 29 miles per gallon Imperial. Despite this, the third row has limited legroom and the low fuel efficiency may be a concern in today's market. The 2022 model has a projected dependability rating of 1 out of 5 and an astonishing total dependability rating of 8 out of 100. Number 1. 2022 Mercedes-Benz GLE The GLE provides the ride comfort that Mercedes-Benz is known for, holding its own in various ways thanks to its powerful engine, quiet cabin, supportive seats, and superb fit and finish. In recent years, the GLE has had 11 recalls, with dependability plummeting due to issues with the engine, body durability, in-car electronics, and electricity and climatic systems. The first-generation M-Class, model number W163, is a body-on-frame SUV built in 2004. Between 1999 and 2002, Magna Steer constructed the W163 M-Class in Graz, Austria for the European market before moving complete production to the U.S. factory in Vance, Alabama. The second-generation M-Class W164 used a unibody chassis while sharing most of its components with the GL-Class, which has a longer body to facilitate third-row seating. But that isn't the end of the story. Customers opt for alternatives such as the BMW X5 due to the fussy steering controls, confusing infotainment system, and not-so-smooth shifting. The GLE had a projected reliability rating of 1 out of 5 and an overall reliability rating of 5 out of 100, making it substantially less dependable than the typical new car. That is it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you do, show some love, hit that like button, and remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can experience our excellent and informative videos.